everyone and welcome to a new PD tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to create a dual tone oscillator to generate polyrhythms that are great for uh, generating those really old sci-fi sound effects for computers or alien machineries or something like that. So without further ado, let's move on by generating two phasers. So each of them has control over the frequency. And then we are going to use a sample hold, sample and hold. This node works like so. The object samples its left input whenever its right input decreases. So each time our second phaser decreases, so once per second, uh, it will sample the actual value produced by our first phaser. Let's say that this one has uh, a frequency, frequency of 1. We can now use a snapshot, tilde, linked to a metro, so that we can visualize what's happening. So the DSP is turned on, great. With the second phaser set to frequency 1, we are generating one value. But if we increase this value, we alternate between these two values. With frequency 3, we generate three values and so on. Now, these values can be then multiplied and sent to an oscillator. So this is what we are going to do. We take the output of sample and hold, we multiply it by a large number that we can later on change. So let me place this number box. We send it to an OSC tilde, the multiplication node, and finally to the DAC. We can clamp the range of this last number box from 0 to 1. And now we can have a listen. Sweet. Now what we can do? It's to copy and paste this section of the patch. We can change the frequency of these phasers. We can change its multiplication down here. Uh, this number box, by the way, is the base frequency. Then we can use, we can copy this section as well. To make things more interesting, we can change the phase of each oscillator section. So we can use a message 0 to set the phase of these two oscillators to 0. And we can use a different message with 0 0.02 or a very small number to create that really small uh, phase variation. We can also use a load bank to bank this, these two messages when the patch is loaded. And we can also uh, generate a sort of movement in the volume. So we can use an OSC with a very slow frequency something like 0 0.06 which multiplies by 0 0.3 or 0 0.2 
That was all for today's tutorial. Hopefully this quick patch was interesting for you. If so, I invite you to give a like and subscribe to support the channel. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.